Okay, the next part is we want to create this find contacts with name block. You should be able to type a name in here, and if that contact appears in the list, it will report that contact to you. It's going to report it. I gave you a picture in classroom right here, which is basically this picture. And these are some of the blocks you might need to complete this. Right now, we're just going to focus on this string and this keep items uh, block right here. I think that's all we're going to need uh, for this part uh, right now. So we're basically going to make a block. It's going to be a list reporter. And just like it says here, find contacts with name blank. We're going to say find contacts with name. It's going to have a name input. We can just put name here. And now we're going to use a couple of those blocks that we put the hint block. String blank contains blank and keep items uh, from list. So that first one's an operator. It's kind of towards the bottom. String blank contains blank. And then variables keep items uh, such that blank from, or keep items, keep items uh, with this thing from list. This string here means this block is like, does it contain the name, right? And does basically does the contact name contain the name is, is what this is. So it's kind of weird, but this is the name you type in. So we're saying, does it contain the name we type in? And basically the name in a contact, the name is item one. So we want to say, does item one contain the name you typed in? Which is why we put item one here. Does item one contain the name you typed in? We leave this blank because we're putting this inside of this keep function, which runs through all the lists and checks item one of each one to see if it, item one contains the name we typed in. The list we're getting this from goes out here, the master list, and that's contact list. So contact list goes here, and that's what we're going to report. And we're going to test this out. This is a little tough to understand at first, but basically it's like I'm typing a name in here. And I want this block to report me back this whole list, but only the ones where item one of these little lists, that's why we keep this blank, contains the name I typed in from the whole contact list. Let's test it. Apply. And now I'll take the block here. And I already have Matt and Sean. I'm going to type Sean in. And look, it gives me the list right here. Now it's okay if yours looks a little different. Um, sometimes, oh, whoops, I just, I just did something wrong. There's table view and then there's list view. So sometimes they're a little different from each other. Um, but that's how that works. So now let's see if we add a couple more contacts, like I had Matt back and I put that in and I put in, uh, taco tacos numbers four, 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 and he lives there. So now I should be able to search taco and get tacos contact return that means it's working and that's how we do that this is a block we are eventually going to use on this sprite the find contact block and if you want to work ahead a little bit you can when i am clicked basically we want to ask who who are you looking for and we're going to use you don't have to do this for today's assignment but we're going to use find contacts with name and see if you can do it if you want to work ahead. Clicking find contact should ask, who are you looking for? It places the answer to that question here and tells you if they're in the list or not. But really all you have to do is build this find contacts button with these blocks here for today. That's the part two video. Um, hope this helped. And I will uh, we'll be uh, checking up on your work on Thursday. Nice to have you guys back later.